breaking news. A jury in Connecticut says Alex Jones should pay nearly $1 billion to the people who suffered from his lies about the Sandy Hook School massacre. Yeah, we all know that Jones claimed several times that the 2012 mass shooting was a hoax. It was not. And that the victim's parents were actors. Anchor Bill Ritter is in the newsroom with the very latest. Bill. The reading, Liz and Joe, of the verdicts just finished in court. It was like a financial life sentence for the disgraced discredited ultra-right conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. 15 plaintiffs, most of the families of the victims of the Sandy Hook gun massacre nearly 10 years ago, and it was clear from the very first verdict. Another huge verdict against Jones for claiming and making a fortune off those claims that the massacre didn't happen, as Liz said. The first plaintiff, Robbie Parker, whose six-year-old daughter was killed in the Sandy Hook massacre, awarded $120 billion, and by the time the reading of the penalty and damages verdicts were over, Alex Jones must now pay about a billion dollars to those who sued, those who listened to his lies. The jury's decision caps off a weeks-long defamation trial that put front and center the emotional harm caused by the conspiracy theorist's lies. For years, Jones falsely spread baseless lies, describing the school shooting where 20 first graders and six educators were killed as, Liz said, a hoax. Mr. Jones also accusing the fam victims' families of being actors complicit with the plot. Throughout the trial, families described how Jones, the host of InfoWars, turned his lies also into harassment. There were threats, both in person and online, making the worst day of their lives even worse. And of course, this decision comes two months after a separate jury in Texas determined that Jones and his company should award two Sandy Hook parents who sued him nearly $50 million. Jones said recently he's tired of apologizing. He didn't even show up for this verdict today. And of course we know the lawyer in the last case in Texas found texts written by Mr. Jones concerning the insurrection, the Trump-backed insurrection on January 6th of last year. They forwarded it to the House Committee investigating that insurrection.